Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here. Today we have another fun, exciting John Byrne issue. How to Draw Comics comic by John Byrne. Although he actually really had nothing to do with it. What the heck am I talking about it? Well, subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, and let's get right into it. Okay, so I am a huge John Byrne fan, as you know, if you watch my channel. And I got this back in the day when it first came out, and I was super excited. 1985. The first curious clue here is, obviously, this is drawn by John Byrne. And if you are a John Byrne fan, you are well aware of his signature. Now, this here is not John Byrne's signature, but it says John Byrne, copyright 1985. So, hmm, I'm wondering what's going on there. Now, this is Solson Publication. No little to nothing about them. I tried to do, like, a limited detective work, but um, couldn't really come up with much. Asked a few fellow burn victims. They didn't really know either. But the deal with this book is it's a comic book on how to draw comics. It came out in, like, 1985. So we have, like, you know, the Marvel Trio book around this period. And, like, really sort of, like, tapping into the market of, like, um, potential, you know up-and-coming wannabe comic book artists to try to sell them on how to draw and things like that. So this book is put together. It has a lot of John Byrne art in it, but supposedly it came from John Byrne sketchbooks that were either bought or stolen. And so in a way, if, if they were bought, then I guess the person could do whatever with the sketches they wanted. But if they're stolen, that's crappy. So either way, John Byrne didn't sanction this, doesn't really have much to do with it. So it seems kind of underground and bootleggy in that way. And also another credit for here is John Romita Sr. So I don't know the whole backstory. There's no explanation. I, it feels shady. I think it's shady. But that said, we do get some cool artwork that may or may not have come from stolen John Byrne sketchbooks. Some of it did appear in the art of John Byrne. I'm familiar with some of it. Like, some of these sketches look familiar. Great head sketches and stuff. Um, to the credit of the person who made this book, they do try to give, like, an informative, thorough sort of uh, guide on how to draw comic books, you know, showing the tricks of the trade here. You know, um, it's so funny for those of you who are artists... Um, I feel like a lot of artists must watch my channel, I hope, because it's pretty art-focused, or it tries to be, but, you know, like, this was, like, you know, like, uh, just, like, an epiphany, and just, like, anything like this, like, I was always clamoring for Christmas and my birthday every year, my mom was always super supportive of me and my brother's, uh, artistic interests, and we always got, like, comic books and art supplies, and that was always the best gift, especially when I got my giant T-square, like, that felt next level. Uh, little drawing desk, of course. Now all we need is like an iPad and Procreate. So none of this is relevant or necessary. But I implore you to learn the tricks of the trade. If nothing, you know, um, it's a skill set, it's knowledge, it's history, and it's fascinating. From John Byrne's sketchbook, The Art of John Byrne, I believe so. This is so interesting to see this, and I love this for a lot of different reasons. Um... You know, I, I feel like John Byrne has this reputation of this very sleek, sort of clean-cut artist, but um, and very polished. But a lot of his sketching is very, very rough like this. And um, oftentimes his inking, like if you look at the covers for his run on Wolverine, very, very sketchy like this. And I really, really like that aspect of his work. And just kind of goes to show how different Terry Austin's inking was and what a different... Um, aesthetic Austin really did bring to Burns art, you know, arguably enhancing it. I definitely think so. I think these are Romita bodies showing heroic portions versus realistic proportions. Sorry for the nip slips, y'all. At least there's no dongs. Um, Lizard, like, yeah, these are all from like that sketchbook or whatever, but still fun. I mean, totally worth having just to see this. I don't know. But of course, you don't want to stand on the backs of uh, stolen artwork. So I don't know. Art is such a crazy... I mean, obviously, I feel like... I mean, I definitely want to do some more, like, exploratory videos. But my editing skills are balls. Like, they suck. If you guys... I mean, Video Leap, I don't know. What should I use? Does anyone have um, fun, preferably free, a very Fisher-Price easy software to make banging videos um, for... 
a moron like me who would much rather use a T-square and a pencil sharpener. You know what I'm talking about? Kitty Pride, allegedly, which kind of creepy if that is her, but um, I feel like, is that the character from uh, Indiana Jones, maybe? I don't know. Interesting that this person is just trying to build this sort of uh, narrative of like, you know, explaining the form and anatomy and stuff like that around just anyone's sketches, right? As a Byrne fan, though, obviously, you know, you, you, I'm speaking directly to you, the viewer, um, you can recognize Byrne's art instantly, right? Just like the, you know, the body language and the pose. I mean, that looks pretty burnish right there. I mean, a burn blob is freaking amazing, right? Um, and a burn Hulk. I love Burns Hulk run. I haven't done a burn video in a while and there's a lot of burn coming up, so don't fret. Um, I just want to make sure I give it its proper love, like the Fantastic Four omnibus that I can't now wait to crack open. This is fun. I love that storm. So cool. And this, this is kind of crazy here too, because I feel like I mean, these are, I mean, this almost looks like uh, it could have been from his critical error story. I'm not sure, but it just feels so ripped off and wrong. And I'm just like, I don't know. I cannot wait. I'm sure I'm going to be flooded now. Now the people who like knew nothing about this book when I was trying to put this video together and I'm just winging it here. I feel like I'm going to be flooded with comments about like the truth behind this book. And I hope to Jesus that I am. Crack the code, fellas and fellas. See, this seems very much in line with uh, the way John Byrne works, though. Um, you know, he, if you are reading X Men Else on the fan fiction, so many pages, especially with a lot of perspective or establishing shots or some sort of wide angle shot like this, have this sort of grid. And I don't know how to use that grid. I like, I don't know the tangents of it. I mean, obviously it helps in a lot of ways. And, you know, Byrne is just a master craftsman. So I would actually love to see a real book like this on John Byrne's process or something like that. But, um, like, his perspective and is always just, like, flawless. Like, it's, it's insane. Great headshots here. See, this is kind of nice, just giving you a glimpse into Byrne's sketchbook anyway, because obviously sketches look very different from you know, um, finished art and sequential art. Um, obviously saber tooth right there. So funny. And also, you know, it's like using all these like Marvel characters. Like, so I feel like there are shades of wrong all over this book. Great. A character shot there. Um, one of, uh, Burns, um, influences is, uh, Ronald Searle. Is it Ronald Searle? Yeah, the English cartoonist. And, um, you know, I feel like that's kind of the appeal of John Byrne's art in a lot of ways, the underlying cartooniness married with the realisticness. So it sort of gives it this broad overall appeal, right? Um, John Byrne's science fiction and technology drawing is insane, and I love it. So good. So this is a weird little, like, I don't know, time capsule kind of thing situation here. So I don't know how this happened, what happened. It's crazy. Kind of happy it exists. It's interesting, right? Anyway, feel free to comment. Unload. Just just go to town and tell me everything you know about this book, guys. Um, or if you knew nothing about it, then freaking order it on me. It's worth having. Or look for it in your, um, you know, out in the wild and that. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. How to Draw a Comics Comic by John Byrne and John Ramita Sr. We don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit like and come back for more.